We stopped here today to visit at Liberty University, and we're actually going to be in services at Thomas Road uh, Sunday. But uh, as you look out across here, you see the expanse of this huge campus. And we're standing at the Medical Health and Science Building, looking down on the campus. Your view is kind of obstructed by the housing they're building there. That's pretty much new, last couple of years. Um, you see the tower, that's kind of over by the Jerry Falwell Library. But every time I see this, I'm reminded of the verse of scripture, Hebrews 11 and 1, faith is the evidence of things not seen. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. One day, a man, Dr. Jerry Falwell, stood and looked out over all of this when it was nothing there. But that's not what he saw, was nothing. He saw a university that would literally touch the world. Well, this was his dream, but you and I have dreams too. And the same faith that could make a Liberty University happen can also make things happen in your life. And so whatever God has put within your heart, whatever your dreams, whatever your vision from the Lord, to enrich His kingdom, to bless His name, you can believe Him for it, and He will make it come to pass. Absolutely. I believe that with all of my heart. We have done uh, extraordinary things in the last 36 years of ministry. And um, we believe that there's more for us yet. Why do we believe that? Because my eye of faith has seen so many things and they're not, foot, they're not completed yet. So we believe that we can keep putting the Word out, putting our faith out on the Word of God. As long as it's not to uh, lift us up or make us noticed, but rather to bring, bring glory to the name of Christ. And so I'm going to have Angie just get a, maybe even zoom in on some of that down there. Like I say, you can't really see it. We were going to go up to the monogram today and uh, shoot out over the campus, but it, the road was closed. So this is kind of the far, I don't know if it'd be the west end. Of, I don't know where, where it is, but it's the far end of campus. But uh, from Liberty University, a house that faith built, I just want to stop and encourage you to, to allow God. The, the Bible says that Jesus is the author and the finisher or the perfecter of our faith. So allow Him. He's given you faith. He's the author of it. He died on the cross to pay for it. So now let Him finish that faith, like a finished carpenter. Let him put the fine touches every day, every day in your walk with God. Let him fine tune your faith and believe him for big things because he's a big God and he delights in giving you desires in your heart and then he brings them to pass. But don't quit. Don't give up. Don't get over into strife and division. Don't get out of the love walk and just let God Unleash your faith in this generation to bring glory to the name of Jesus Christ. Revival. From Liberty University, this is Brother Paxton saying, Go with God. He will go with you. told Joshua, he said, Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage, be not dismayed, neither be afraid, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. I believe that you can have that dream that God has placed within your heart. If that dream <coughs> is to glorify Christ, if, if, if we're trying to do things that glorify us or bring attention to us or have people to notice us, then God's not under any obligation to bring that to pass. But if we're doing what we're doing so that the name of Christ can be heard among the entire earth, well, I believe God will make those kind of things come to pass. First of all, let me encourage you to be a giver. 
If, you, if you're not a giver, then you're not a reaper. You, 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 you can't reap what you haven't sown. And so you're actually sowing bad seed when you're refusing to give to the work of the Lord. So be a giver and watch God do miracles in your life. Secondly, let God fine tune your faith, just like we talked about a moment ago. Let him every day get on the word, stay on the word and dream big dreams that God gives you and let him fine tune your faith every day. And, 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 and one thing we have to avoid is strife and division and unloveliness in the body of Christ. We have to stop blaming the pastor and the church and all of this when it's, you know, my problems are my problems and most of them are caused by me, all right? And so, you know, don't be a blamer, be a claimer. Well, let's say that again. Don't be a blamer, be a claimer. Claim the promises of God, claim the love of Christ, claim the mercies of our Savior, claim greatness in your spirit because he wants you to do great things in his name for his name's sake in this generation as revival will once again sweep over the united states of america and around the world for the cause of christ we're so excited about it we're here at liberty university today hanging out getting ready for a great day of television taping tomorrow and um also Sunday, two big things at Thomas Road Baptist Church. So we're enjoying the Virginia sunshine, and we love all of you very, very much. We want you to send us your prayer requests uh, so that we can join our faith with yours and we can see great things done uh, in our lives from Jesus Christ. So send it to me, please. Len Paxton, Post Office Box 5714 in Traverse City, Michigan, 49. 696 that zip code again 49696 and when i get those prayer requests i read every one of them and we will pray over them and believe god for mighty miracles in your life god bless you friends and we'll see you a little bit further on down the road